Hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna try something a little different. I have been so insanely busy with work, which has been amazing, and having so much fun working on a water tech project to bring fresh water to the world. It's going so great. But I've been coast to coast for the last several weeks. I have hit so many states, it's mind blowing. Flying constantly, but no time to touch or fly scrappy. I wanna get these upgrades finished, so we'll get to those soon. So today we're gonna try something a little different. Mark, my brother, did an awesome video with his kids, his wife, doing some really cool upgrades on a Cirrus. If you like Cirrus, you're going to love what he did. So check this out. It's a little different, but I'll be back to work on Scrappy real soon. I hope you guys stick around and enjoy this. Also, I wanted to say thanks. All you guys who pitched in and bought gear, shirts, hats to help support getting more people into aviation, it turned out amazing. So we have actually raised money that we're turning around and flipping back out to all of you and getting people their first flight and paying for it by me and by all of you. I'll update that soon. We're gonna be calling flight schools and individuals to let them know that all of us are paying for their first flight. Love you guys, back to work. We're gonna upgrade Susie Cirrus and it has been a long time coming. All Garmin, of course. <laughs> Is there anything else? <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> Get to work. <laughs> hey Susie. You're leaning on your airplane like it's gonna leave you. It is going to Nexair Avionics. All right, if you're gonna be going out all the way across the country to see Nexair Avionics, you may as well stop at Charlie Papa Sierra Airport. Right there is the arch. This would be pretty crowded. It's the inside of the arch. All these stairs are just crazy. We just landed Teterboro here in New York City. The view of the skyline. It's freaking awesome. Unbelievable. <laughs> there we are, eating inside, outside. Outside. What an epic adventure. It's good life. Good life. Well, yesterday was absolutely epic. We toured all over downtown New York City and saw the popular sites. We still have some left to do today. Uh, only piston airplane on the whole ramp here at Teterboro. Well, Connor and I are here. We made it to Nantucket Island. The cool thing about this place is if you grew up in the 80s and 90s like me, there was a show called Wings. That was before I was a pilot, but that may have been part of the attraction to this wonderful picture. What we need out there now is another Tim Daly. It's almost like worth the Garmin upgrades just to have an adventure like this with your kids. What? No, nobody here watched Wings. Is that the one where there's a guy and he's like a he's, a, he's a pilot or something? Just need an excuse to get your plane out and go play. Been under a rat, don't know Wings. I love Wings! is a recreation of the Mayflower. The Mayflower landed in November of 1620. So it was cold, it was miserable, it was winter. It came all the way across the ocean on a ship like that um, in a really tough time of year to land here and settle in Plymouth. Uh, I'm in awe and inspired by the strength and commitment and um, the adventurous soul you gotta have to be able to do something like that.
Connor, we made it. All the way to the neck, sir. It looks like I need to shave. That hanger right there, I saw Michael Gullion's logo on the front of that logo. So he's also here at this airport. So Michael Gullion is one of our customers, has one of our best tugs and so here we go. Next Air Avionics. Look how pristine this place is. Like you can eat off the floors and all their hangers look this good. I mean, this, this is the kind of place you want working on your airplane. This is where I spend my money. This is, this is an amazing shop. Hey guys, I wanted to pause this video right here because a lot of you have asked on my comments, who does some of my avionics panels and my past builds, current builds. So I just want to give a shout out and say thanks to two Daves. Both are kind of specializing in two different areas. One, David Buckwalder of Avionics Systems. He did Scrappy's plane and he really specializes in experimental, but he also does some certified. And then I got Dave Featherston, who did an amazing job and is specializing more in the certified side and also does some experimental. He's done uh, Susie's plane. And I wanna tell both of them, I love you guys. Thank you for doing such great work. I'm gonna put both their numbers up so you can reach out to them. I hope to send them a little bit of work because they did a great job for me. Anyone else who's touched my plane, I always like to give a shout out. So thank you guys. Let's get started. Let's get back to work. This right here is one of those things that when people say, how in the world did Nexair do your Cirrus last time in three days? Um, it was just like this last time. We showed up, they said, hey, three, four days will be done. Three days they were done. The plane was squat free and flying. This is all they do. So this is my car. All the harnesses are built before we even got here, before they, uh, and we showed up right on schedule. They're not behind. This is all done and tested and proven. All our parts are laid out. All the schematics are done. Everything that's going to be installed, and it's all determined beforehand and and ready. And they're not waiting for any parts. Buy an airplane to save time. Think about what it costs to have your airplane down for a month or six weeks or eight weeks if you don't have a place to in your install that can just get in and out. So I know it sounds like a sales pitch, but you enthusiastically want to tell people. If you're going to get Garmin or anything else in, in my case, it's all Garmin. I, I am such a firm believer. Um, this is how it gets done. And this is how it gets done so quick and how it gets done squat free. Hey, Susie. Hey. We're almost there. I know. Like all the way across the country to get your airplane. And it's like right over there. Dude, you got to take a look. Let me see your camera. Check it out. Crew. Susie. <laughs> is that what you were laughing about? <laughs> <laughs> this is the best. Wow, can't wait to fly it. So the autopilot will run completely independent of the PFD and MFD being off. What? So you can shoot a full approach, everything other than heading mode. Look at these pictures. This is, this is flying along on autopilot, right? Yeah. This is, up. Oh, we turn the PFD off. This flips over to your ADI. Everybody's happy. The autopilot doesn't skip a beat. Then we flip. That's another picture. Then we turn them both off. Complete black displays. Uh, this is running the autopilot. It's still going. You can shoot an approach. I have had. You can do anything. My Avidine screen. There's what it looks like. Me. Still running. Look at that. Oh wait, do you just get you just yeah. got them here? We just got them this morning. Yeah. So these are the ones you guys can't keep on the shelf, right? That's right. <laughs> wow. This is just amazing. Oh wow. I'm so overwhelmed. I need I need YouTube videos and to have the next week off of work again. Yeah. We can take our time going home. They won't like me at work. Um, okay, I'm claiming this. This is the sacred moment. <laughs> That's going to be my fingerprint. <laughs> well, this is it. It's the big day. We're pretty excited. I'm finishing my work so I can go. <laughs> We're going to go get on a commercial flight. My son, Connor, driving us up to the airport to pick up Susie's plane. We have not seen it. We've seen teaser pictures of it, but I'm curious. We're going to have to track this. 
between driving all the way to Salt Lake where we can get an internet or get a flight out and the waiting and being there early and the layovers, I think GA is going to win. Yep, 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 yep. Well, like any time you're at the airport, you spend a lot more time getting through line than you want. Then you just get to sit around and wait and do nothing anyway. So I'll tell you what I think about all this sitting around doing nothing. Read my lips. <laughs> and uh, that's how I really feel. Two hours later. They just said that they, they moved the time up. I mean, we're still looking at about a five o'clock. Uh, so we don't want you to... We've uh, missed all of our connecting flights now. Our trip is canceled. A few moments later. Well, that's that. So that was, that was a short reminder of how bad it goes on commercial. In general aviation, you have delays and you have weather. But the second weather's clear, you're on your way or you divert. You don't have to have everything stop. So our travel plans came to a full stop before we even got out of Utah and we're already three hours into getting nowhere. Just to be clear, I never needed any convincing that general aviation is for me. But boy, I, I we tried to do the commercial just one way and, and the uh, GA God said no. <laughs> We did it. Yeah. After all that, the drive to Salt Lake, the getting checked in, the eating, the waiting an hour for a flight and waiting another half hour for the flight and then another delay of the flight and then a canceled flight. And then it was a 20 minute walk just to get out of the airport. It's over a mile walk. And then an Uber for an hour back down to Spanish Fork, then into the Platus to fly all the way out here nonstop. And we beat we our- We beat our commercial flight. After all that, we still are here about an hour earlier than what the commercial yeah. flight would have been because of the layovers. The next day. We have not seen the plane yet. We're so excited, I almost broke into their hangar last night. I see the airport. I always feel good when I see an airport. <laughs> you ready to show us this thing? Sure. Oh, wow. Holy cow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> You'd never know when you land in a little town out here, Hibbing, Minnesota, there, there is a paint booth like this, like this. I mean, this is like ginormous. It's amazing. That's how you get quality. You invest in the right stuff. I don't know. I kind of think that you always get the best. <laughs> don't know why I think that. Well, now that we got your plane, I think we should uh, go jump on a float plane and hit some lakes. We're at an airport. Let's go fly more airplanes. We got access to a float plane. Yeah, Ross is awesome. Let's go flying.
That was awesome. So we made it home. And we got the planes back in the hangar and got some time on the panel. We'll get some more and we'll try to do a video of what we like best about it. Are you happy? I'm very happy. I can't get over the new yaw dampener, the new Garmin Autopilot's unreal. There's only one problem with it. I don't see a problem. Yeah, there's a major problem, is that that panel is not in that airplane. So it's time to call Garmin. <laughs>